And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable calls. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3 4 3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. And here's the starting 11 for Salford City. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. And now they get the ball rolling. Good movement. Niall Ennis. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. <laughs> Elliot Watt. Mallon Bolton Well they stopped them in their tracks Who can he pick out? How can he take them on and beat them? Disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Matt Smith. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. A chance to whip it in. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Houghton. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And a crisp effort just over the top.
Elliot Watt and Barry Watt moving into the advanced position and possession lost by Salford just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw in Stevie Mallon still passing it around with authority teammates in the middle well the cross didn't get past the first defender just failing to hit the target good effort though Jordan Houghton promising looking ball fruitful looking attack and he takes on the shot and disappointingly not even close to hitting the target there yeah he was looking to open up his body guide it into the corner but he's got it all wrong it's a poor attempt in the end Well, this has to get better because, as those stats confirm, the attack in play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Niall Ennis. Beautifully weighted ball. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Oh, good looking run. Giving it a try. Well, tremendous block. And there it is, the half time whistle. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And this con... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. What? Ibu Toure.
Stevie Mallon. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Houghton. Well, he's won the ball. Bolton. He has teammates around him. Who can he pick out? He must finish! Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And an astute piece of defending. Bali Mumba. Houghton. Ennis. Right now. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But they took care of the situation defensively. Bolton. And the attack looks promising. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Twenty minutes remaining. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And the ball back with Salford City now. Say this looks promising. It's there for him. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Here it is now. A substitution. And a short corner. Let's see. Cross could be useful. And he's clear his lines. Intense pressure. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Edwards. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Just ten minutes remaining here. There to take it away. Plenty of support here. Can he finish them off? He got in the way of that cross. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Can he find the net? Really good diving save. And they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? And really it had to be further away from the keeper. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Oh, that's an interesting pass. This could be it! 
And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.